Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and uh, Gemini Rising week, uh, monthly, excuse me, tarot reading, uh, July 2019. And uh, bear with me, guys, a second to uh, make the shuffle. And uh, we will... Oh, my God, these new cards are so stiff. Um, yet. And we're going to jump uh, straight away to, uh, to the reading. Yeah, I'm finally so happy that I do have my uh, new cards. All right, so uh, the first card which represents the topic of your month, Gemini's, uh, this is the Eight of uh, the Eight of Cups, followed by the second card which stands for the um, peripheral activities uh, that uh, you can go for here. That is going to be the Five of Swords. Afterwards, it's going to be uh, the um, challenges that you need to overcome. That will be the three of uh, wands, followed by the positive aspect of the wands. Well, I did not expect anything else here. Uh, considering the previous three cards, we do have the hangman. And the final one, which is uh, the guidance that Taro is offering to you, that's very, very important because the month, it seems, is going to be quite rough. Uh, it's the um, the Hermit. So once again, uh, Eight of Cups, it is the topic of the month, followed by the Five of Swords, which stands for the uh, peripheral activities. Afterwards, we do have the Three of Wands, which is about the challenges. Then it is the positive aspect of the month, that will be the Hangman. And then the last one is going to be the Hermit, which is the guidance. So like I said, Gemini, uh, it seems rather rough month here uh, for the reason being, looking by these cards is that, um, well, I don't know how to explain it, but let's say that the circumstances are not going to be exactly how you wanted them to be. As a matter of fact, with these cards, it does look like that uh, you are to feel that you are in a very big either disadvantage, you know, a, a situation uh, which has a dead end, um, helpless or hopeless, etc., uh, etc. Et <clears throat> so if I have to give you an example, you know, you may try let's say to fix a relationship you have you both want to fix that relationship but there are just those circumstances which are not allowing that relationship to function at all that is just an example guys or it could be as well something related to your career you can be successful into that career or into this job everybody wants you to take that promotion but just the circumstances are not allowing you to do so in other words there is nothing much that you can do in regards to this big big endeavor of yours uh, that you want to be resolved for the month of July and what you can do instead is focus more uh, on the other things in life okay what things well you do decide for yourself but let's jump into the reading uh, itself or rather like into the spread and see the cards one by one 
So the first one, like we saw, is going to be the Eight of Cups, which represents that the situation in the month or the month itself is going to be quite dissatisfiable. I would say as well, uh, how do you say it when, when you are not ple displeased? Right, or when you are not pleased with how the circumstances are, are arranging themselves, right? So it's 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 not gonna be something that you wanna see, okay? And uh, that being said, however, with the Eight of Cups, this is not gonna be the end of the world, right? So you are to recognize that yes, the situation is unfortunate, too bad, okay? But in the same time, there is still hope, okay? But there will be a better uh, perspective that is going to emerge somewhere in the future. So that being said, it does look like just literally as the card shows, you're going to turn your back upon that situation and attend into something different to boost up your mood and just to, to, to keep your mind occupied if I, um, if I can express myself that way. Uh, wow, all right, so we do have as well the eight, the five of cups here. Oh my God, these cards really speak. By the way, guys, I have cleansed the cards old school with south and moonlight, and they do really, really speak. Oh my God. All right, so um, the five of cups, it's uh, to the eight of cups, first of all, the formation, it is a, a passive supporters. And actually, it's very positive, showing that even though you may feel that that is a severe loss that you are experiencing, you are as well going to recognize that this loss, first of all, is just a partial one, all right? It's, it, like I said, it is not the end of the world, and things are not beyond any repair, either regarding relationship or either regarding career. The second thing is that this loss is not going to hurt your self-respect, you know, and confidence as well, meaning that you're going to recognize recognize that it was not your fault. It's as simple as that. It is not, it was not your fault. So, um, <clears throat> oh, and another thing from these cards is that you are also going to determine yourself that someone, as sometime in the future, right, uh, you are going to get back into it. So if I have to give you an example, let's say that you break up with your beloved one, okay, these cards are a sign that you are going to reconcile somewhere into the future, or you're going to have the option to reconcile somewhere along uh, the future, sometime up along the future, maybe after a couple of months, maybe after a year, you know, but just the option is going to be there, lingering in the space, waiting for you to take it. <clears throat> so the next card, which represents... The peripheral activities, which is, uh, you know, things that are not related to the main topic that you can go for. Unfortunately, this is quite related. This is the product of the main topic that we do have in your case, Five of Swords. And it's about, you know, killing this, the, 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 that sense of uh, misfortune uh, with, with whatever it takes. No different, for example, you know, uh, as I said, um, with the example here, break up to drink yourself to death, just, just so you can get through it, all right? Or um, if, you are, uh, ha if you have to step down from a project into your career to start humiliating everybody around you just because, you know, you didn't have the luck to perform into that project. It's just these reckless, you know, behavior and, and random reckless as well activities that are gonna make you feel better in the short term but what they do is actually taking up happiness from the future giving it to you right now but afterwards you have to pay the bill with the interest as well the accompanied card here is going to be the five of uh, pentacles formation it is a active uh, enemies by the way the five the number five as we do have double five is a, a very unstable and inconsistent number it's the number of change it's the number of where many things can happen which speaks that <clears throat> you're gonna have a chance for many peripheral activities you know but with the five of pentacles here uh, no matter what you do uh, it's you are not gonna be able to wash out to wash away you know the sense that uh, the, 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 the sense or rather like the feeling you know of this endeavor which is quite unfortunate for you so it will linger all right for example you can drink yourself to death all right to try to forget about your relationship but on the next day uh, lost relationship thus far 
but on the next day you're gonna still miss your partner all right it's just not gonna help you in the long run yes it's gonna help you for one night but on the next day you will lack productivity okay you will lack mood as well you will lack uh, 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 how do you say it i um wow how wow all right i just forgot the word guys a uh positive attitude all right so you're gonna lack as well positive attitude and in general any enthusiasm to jump into anything you know it's the same thing you know getting happiness for one night and on the next day you have to pay it with the interest <clears throat> so uh that leads us to the next card which speaks about the challenges that you will have to overcome like this ain't enough already but still uh, the challenges are the tree of uh, the tree of wands, and uh, here the challenge is going to be to get back on your feet, okay, and try to focus on what you have instead of what you could have had. The tree of uh, wands represents that one needs to establish themselves on a rather solid foundation, solid patterns to secure those patterns, and to challenge themselves for moving on forward. You know, to challenge themselves to develop any fur uh, even further, and that will be the challenge itself for you. You know, to stick into what is established for you. You know, obviously, if you are following the example with the relationship that recently broke up. Obviously, that relationship cannot be sustained right now, but that relationship is not everything that you got. You still have other things to attend, other things that are going to make you happy, you know, other things that are going to be productive as well, and you need to keep up with them. That will be the challenge itself. You need to consolidate them, secure them, and develop challenging, challenge them, or rather like, I don't know how to say it really, it's more like uh, provoking them to develop uh, further. The accompanied card here, it is the four and the formation, it is a uh, active friends that we do have. <clears throat> so four here speaks about clamorous belief, you know, it does, it does speaks about a, um, a new beginning. So you have to challenge yourself to start anew, something different out of this endeavor, which isn't, you know, situating itself. Uh, the way that it is uh, it is positive for you right so try to start anew all right so if your relationship have recently broke up and it was not your fault and you can't resuscitate it right now even if you want to well it's time for you to turn your glance into a different uh, uh, in different fields you know try to develop your career instead take care for your children if you do not have any you know just devote yourself into something different into something new so you can you know expand on um on your enthusiasm and start feeling productive and as well fulfilled once again it's gonna take a lot i, I don't want to, i don't want to lie to you it's gonna take a lot of determination and it's gonna take a lot of uh, uh, discipline okay but at the end of the day, like I said, um, it's not the end of the world. And that thing which isn't working out very well for you, um, Gemini, can be recuperated. It can be fixed, not in the month of July. But like I said, your opportunity for to fix it, should you want to fix it at that time or at that point, will linger for you uh, in the future. So we go to the good stuff here and uh, that will be the positive aspect of the month for you. Uh, that will be the hangman. <clears throat> so what that month really is going to do for you is going to force you to look the world in a different way. This is what the hangman does, right? So if you look the world uh, upright, you know, standing upright, well, things aren't looking very bright. But if you hang yourself down or rather like if you you know, look it upside down like the hangman does, not hang yourself down, it's, I'm sorry for that, but it's like um, lift yourself um, upside down and see the world upside down, that is going to give you definitely a new perspective to think about, a new goals to accomplish, you know, new challenges to conquer and in generally new uh, outlooks for really enthusiastic enterprises which you can't develop any further and which are going to be quite exhilarating as well. Now, uh, you need to know that the hangman points uh, as on a positive note that that month is going to be a challenge for you. It's going to be a challenge and simultaneously a, a breakthrough. It's going to be like a test, okay? How much you want to be happy. 
And in order for you to be happy, you simply need to see the world in a different way. You need to see your family in a different way. You need to see your situation in a different way, your career in a different way. And that will open a lot of options available for you. That will basically going to stir your life. The accompanied card here is going to be the Queen of uh, Wands. Uh, the formation, it is a... Um, passive uh, enemies that we do have and with the uh, queen of wands here it's just the recognition that you are not almighty and that sometimes you know like i said things aren't depending on you and no matter what you do how no matter how skilled you are or how, how attractive you are or how devoted you are simply it's not meant to be okay at least not at the time being so you just gotta leave it and that will be the recognition that is going to be the addif uh, the additional thing you are to realize through the different perspective that you're gonna see through the hangman uh, in the um, in um, <clears throat> that represents the positive aspect for you for throughout the months of uh, July and finally, what we have, guys, for you, that is to be the Guidance card. And the Guidance is going to be the Hermit. So, uh, Guidance-wise, the Hermit urges you to approach the whole situation, I, or the whole, the, the every situation that arises throughout the month of July with a great amount of wisdom and with a great amount of intelligence as well. Now, the card points is very likely that you are going to take on a, a very, very different direction, all right? Direction that proves to be quite substantial and it's going to be provoked or rather like it's going to emerge through this different perspective or through this different vision that you're going to have upon your life, okay? And... Uh, as well, the, the hermit says that not everybody is going to support you throughout taking on this new direction, but only those who truly believe in you are going to be there to you as well. So the, the hermit also points that there are going to be some sort of a perch into your social circle here, right? It's going to be like a... Um, well, basically, you're going to see who is there for you for your sake and who is there for you for their own sake. The accompanied card here is going to be the nine of uh, the nine of wands formation. It's the passive neutrals that we do have, and uh, that is quite an avoidance. Uh, I mean, you are to avoid a quite a big disaster here should you approach every situation with, like I said, a great portion of uh, intelligence and wisdom, and also recognize that uh, substantial direction for you to take on from now on, or it's going to be like a substantial standpoint that you are to take from now on. But it does look like, guys, that, yeah, you are to avoid um, even further uh, havoc and uh, deterioration, you know, of your life. Now, what you need to know, because that sounds quite dramatic, is that not every Gemini is the same as the Gemini next to him, all right? So for some of you, this is going to have huge magnitude. For some of you, it's going to be quite of a little magnitude is going to be about, you know, a dispute over a color of, of your new home, okay? And you just, you, you just will have to recognize that you cannot argue about it and it's going to be something that you don't like, right? And you have to make your peace with it. But further down the road, in a couple of years, you can definitely cha change the color of your house, all right? So I'm saying that it doesn't have to be about break up into relationship or being fired, you know, or, or, or anything like that. It could be for something quite irrelevant about um, uh, that does not have any implication of your well-being moving on forward. So, yeah, that being said, Gemini, this was your monthly tarot reading for July 2019. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I hope you liked it. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then. Bye.